Hi, it's Alex at Realize Displays. I wanted to show you a quick demo of how you can create a Google Calendar and add it into your Rise Vision display system so that you can automatically pull events to your displays that have the calendar. And first what we're going to do is go to google.com and we're going to sign in with our Google account that is registered within Rise Vision. Enter your password. Perfect. Okay. Now the first thing we want to do before we sign into Rise is actually create the Google Calendar. So up here in the top right is our navigation tab for Google and we're going to select Calendar. Okay. So then this is going to bring us to our uh, blank Google Calendar here and it's already selected with your uh, a calendar that is created based on your address so this is tied into whatever your Google account is. Uh, all you need to do is add in some events actually I'm going to move those to this week just by dragging and dropping. And now the next step is important. What we have to do is go to this calendar, which is our regular main calendar, and go to calendar, uh, uh, share this calendar, I'm sorry. And all we wanna do is click this checkbox that says make this calendar public. Save, yes, it will be visible to the world, that's good. It needs to be public so that the Rise Vision software can actually find the events and pull them into the system. So next what we want to do, keep this open in a tab, open up a brand new tab, and jump into your Rise Vision account. And we train our users to uh, navigate to Rise Vision through our website, which is realizedisplays.com. And then go to Client Login at the top. And then we go to Rise Vision Login here in the, in the library login page. And now we're at the Rise Vision Sign In, so we click Sign In in the top. It's going to ask us which account we want to choose to sign in with. That one looks good. And now we're into our Rise Vision display. We're going to open our presentation that we'd like to put the calendar into. We're going to right click on the zone we want to show it. Actually, let's put it down here and go to properties and we're going to add a new item and go to content and in the big content list this marketplace that comes up the easiest way to find this is just type in calendar and then we'll find the Google Calendar widget it is free click the add button and now we come with a little item where it's going to add in our calendar and the duration of how long the calendar will show. There's a configure button here where we can select different settings for the how the calendar shows up. The main part of this is to find your calendar ID from the calendar we just created. So we're going to go back to the tab that has our calendar up here. We're going to click on the down arrow next to our main calendar and go back to calendar settings now. And there's a calendar ID right here that we're going to copy. That's all we need to do here. And then we're going to jump back into Rise Vision from our tab at the top, paste it. And now we're just going to select how we want our uh, events to show up. So if we have a blue background like we do here, we probably want our text to show up in a white or a grayish. So I'm just going to select that here. And maybe just for the sake of difference, let's change that to yellow, like that white, like this white. Okay, great. So we'll pretty much keep the rest of it the same. Uh, let's show the week's events for the range. Now we'll click Save. Let's give it a duration of maybe 60 seconds so we can see it for a minute. 
And now we have our Google Calendar all ready to go. And if everything is good, then we can save. It's in there. Up at the top in our present set, presentation settings. And then click the preview button. You can hide the share bar. And there's those events that I created in my calendar. So the nice thing is, is this is going to pull any events through a rolling week from your calendar. As you can see, here's new event one, two, and three. And anything I add into here will get automatically pulled into this zone because that's where the widget is. I uh, hope that helps, and good luck. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks.